and there's always been some sort of uh, friction between him and the coaching staff and he got you know he came back early from the world cup uh, in the middle of the tournament so all of that stuff happened so wish trend says that i wish trend follows in ben white's footsteps and say they're going i don't need england i'll just be there for liverpool what do you guys think of uh, the ben white situation dude i mean is is i talking about the video that was put up or in general i mean because i don't i, mean, I haven't <laughs> i haven't followed ben white in, as you know of, yeah no not not the video video was whatever I mean, it doesn't matter but like you know him turning down an england call up oh that dude i appreciate him so much for that i mean i i wish people have i i i'm like i wish trent has the same balls as him and said okay fuck off I don't need you. I don't need England. Go with Kyle Walker. Go with that uh, that Newcastle right back. Who 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 who's that guy? Trippier. Or Trippier. Or the forever injured Reese James. Ah, uh, or Reese James. Go with all of these fucks. I don't I don't give a shit. I I just go play for Liverpool. I I wish Trent says that. I wish Trent follows in Ben White's footsteps and say they're going. I don't need England. I'll just be there for Liverpool. Because the he, because the thing is, I mean, I can see in some ways how it's not Southgate's fault as well because he has excessive options in right back. area and then also he's not a, that good of a tactician anyway that he's not using trend properly and yeah. every time he goes there i feel like why are you know it, it's calling out for someone like trend like you know from midfield or something he could offer so much and he he doesn't do it but anyway the the, the topic is about ben white let's just talk talk about ben white not about trend but i i really i'm happy that he had the ball to say it our parents yeah. to it yeah i mean in my opinion like when i when i heard it I kind of, I mean, we being close to Arsenal, right? Like, mm-hmm. uh, it's always been on the periphery. Like, we have been advocating for him to go to the uh, English setup, uh, and there's always been some sort of uh, friction between him and the coaching staff. And he got, you know, he came back early from the World Cup uh, in the middle of the tournament, so all of that mm-hmm. stuff happened. So there was definitely something brewing. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> like, I, I, I can, I can see both ways. I don't. I feel like if you're team manager is calling you for uh a national team you should go so i feel like there's some sort of some element of you know uh like why are you not doing it it's like an england team and also that it is the best possible chance for england to win something in a, on an international stage in a long time like england is are the strong favorites along with france maybe more than france in in, in this year's tournament so this is always this uh uh like you know expectation that england would probably might win and then also the fact that england is not strong at the back like forget about right backs and left mm-hmm. backs he could play at center back and english english uh, center backs are not that great you we just have stones and that's about it everybody else is kind of replaceable uh louis dunk timori all of these people so he has a decent chance to play so all of that kind of makes me feel like why is he not going but then on the other hand i also feel like southgate is uh there's something there's some pettiness going on from southgate and because he's never come out and criticized a player ever mm-hmm. his whole tenure but if he's publicly coming and putting him under the bus then there has to be some sort of like you know friction animosity uh, or just broken relationships there that is more than what is been shown on the surface okay and then i don't see ben, a player like ben white coming out giving an interview kind of like uh disrupting the whole english setup like imagine if ben white comes out today or tomorrow and says like oh southgate is lying uh <laughs> imagine how much turmoil will it cause cause in the english english footballing setup just before the euro this is such a bad thing to do mm-hmm. uh or just put his i mean it's a one sided story right so that's why i don't want to like judge white a lot but uh and going yeah. by the video which was put up and i think ben white is generally a good person apparently i mean i, I just knew that from all the feedback and everyone is a warrior is this stay strong and all of that so i don't think ben white's going to do anything of that sort he's just going to say that okay i'm not I'm not interested or what he'll just keep the comments to minimum but but i'm i'm actually surprised and also i'm like honestly impressed that uh, he chose to not go for england at this point of time As, yeah. as you say, as you mentioned, right? I mean, there's a good chance. I mean, not that he has to be opportunistic and then you know just say, "Oh no, not that we're winning, I'll go." But he stuck to his decision, and I think I respect to him for that. Yeah. Wait, what do you think? I mean, yeah, like there's the angle that it's your country and you have your duties, right? But I mean, if you if Arsenal have such a great shot at winning the title this year, I mean, I would definitely stay and like help my team go through. Like, it it makes sense what White did. And I would back him as well. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely, definitely backing him. 